Well, it's Saturday. Sa 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 it's Saturday. And uh, my Saturdays have changed recently. I used to spend the Saturday just in a coffee shop working because the girl was working, so that made sense. And since she's been on maternity, Saturdays have been ours. But this potentially could be. In fact, this will definitely be the last Saturday of us on our own without the baby. So this weekend is a big weekend. So the day is starting. Who knows where it's going to lead? We're kind of just chilling today because it's the last weekend and we don't really have many plans. Um, I'm sat here just editing a video. Let me give you a little insight into it. That's a little edit of uh, the video while we're in Switzerland, which I've been taking some time to do. Uh, but one of the things I thought would be fun today is to do a, a live Instagram Q&A about the vlog on the vlog. Let's see if this works. It'd be cool to say hello to some people and then we might go out and go for a walk outside. The weather's dull, but it'd be nice to get outside anyway and stretch our legs and walk that baby out. Baby so far is due, is overdue by two days, I think. Wait. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah, two days overdue. We are playing the waiting game. I can't tell you how many people have texted me asking me about it. If I haven't texted you back, we're just waiting. Let's try this live Q&A Instagram session. So, here we go. That's it. Um, first question of the Q&A, Katie is, on the sofa, resting her back. Uh, because the back doesn't feel amazing. Um, that's where she is. So I'm sat here editing a, a video that I did while we're in Switzerland. There she is. How dirty is my screen? But this is so far where I'm at to with this video. It's kind of just like a huge montage video. So there she is. It's, so far, it just looks like a film about a film about Katie. But I'm doing a vlog today, and uh, I kind of want to ask you guys the question to ask me the question. Uh, what this is the last weekend with just us two, um, without the baby here, just hanging out on our own. Uh, what like what would you do? What do you do with your day? It's it's if it it's the day before. It's the weekend before, who knows when she's getting here, but it's definitely the last weekend we have together. And most of our weekends are spent um, in lanes, wandering the city, enjoying time together. So maybe we'll do the same thing. Hey Jay, how you doing bud? Hope you're feeling better. Um, thanks Takura, the music is sweet. It's by an artist called uh, Joey Pecoraro, and uh, he's on. He's on SoundCloud. I'm not confident that this thing's going well. Um, just for the sake of my vlog, anyone that's watching, please throw me some questions. Because uh, so far this is a huge flop. And uh, the only question I've had is, where's Katie? In fact, I think she's watching this. She is watching this. Takura said, get in the water taxi. That is a good shout. Benjamin said, get some sleep. So, all right, all good advice. Watch a chick flick. Uh, Jessie, I don't love chick flicks at the best of times. Um, so we just watched Toy Story this morning for breakfast. Have I made Katie breakfast? Now I'm gonna sound terrible here. Katie made me breakfast this morning. To make matters even worse, the, she made me sausage and bacon on sourdough and she hates sausage and hates bacon and I didn't ask her to make me breakfast though. What is the baby's name gonna be? It's not gonna be Heidi. Wow, I feel like a bad husband for not making you breakfast, Fed. Tell me you're making breakfast. I make her breakfast every day. She just got sick of being waited on hand and foot every minute. <laughs> so today she just she begged me to to let her make me breakfast. I'll show y'all something, y'all. That's the first time I've ever said y'all. <laughs> I'll show y'all something. Um, I'll show. You, I'll tell you a funny story, um, and I'll and I'll show you something. This came yesterday. For you guys, that that's what came. That came yesterday, and. Uh, 
we texted my mum saying, Oh, the, the bouncer came, the baby bouncer came, and she called immediately and was freaking out because she thought that the baby was here. Uh, my mum just got a little bit excited uh, about the baby arriving. Laura Bland, that is a good shout to make some knitted Yeezys. Well guys, this has been a great Q&A slash conversation. <laughs> there's not really been, you just, there's not really been any questions, it's just all been, where's Katie? Show us Katie, Katie for president. <laughs> what is your baby gonna call Katie? And stuff like that, so that's fine though. A Couple of things coming up. Um, video that I'm editing for, for our trip to Switzerland will just be a fun video. If you watch it, my idea is that you watch it and you go, oh my goodness, that's what it looks like to go on a romantic holiday with the person you love. That's the idea from it. Uh, Benjamin, I'm not going to vlog the birth. I'm not going to. How do you come up with vlog titles? Uh, that's a great question, Benjamin. And thank you for asking me a question about the vlog. Um, I don't. Katie does. That was what we call a failed Q&A. Maybe I'll try another one some other time. So I would like to thank you all for that um, gripping Q&A session on Instagram Live, which didn't end up being a Q&A session really. But the girl's getting ready and uh, we're gonna head out soon to Lanes, I think. Lanes. Please. Lanes sounds perfect. So I'm gonna do a little bit more editing and then we're gonna head out for a walk. So. Peace. Well, that's lanes down, but it was hectic in there. I've never seen so many people in that coffee shop as today. And uh, the sun's out, which means guns, no, out. guns out, no jacket, and loving life in the sun. After the lanes was crazy busy and uh, wandering around the city. We're kind of just doing nothing really, aren't we? Yep. Wasting time. Wasting time, but we're going to go and get some pizza right now. I just said I'm going to have two pizza slices because I'm a grown boy. And then I said, I'm not actually a grown boy anymore, I'm 32. I stopped growing. And this one said, you're growing, you're just growing sideways. The disrespect is unbelievable. How's your pizza? It's good. What did you get? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't care. Well, actually, it looks a bit gross now. Just margarita. Margarita. And uh, pepperoni. Yeah. And I always like to add some pepper and Tabasco, which is standard. You have to add, you, have, you just have to add Tabasco and pepper to a pizza. No, I can do it. You do? It just gives it that extra something, makes it unique. Makes it like non-Italian. That's true. At my core, I was born a chav and I'll die a chav. What's the most <laughs> chavy thing that I do? If he crosses the street, then he makes sure cross it really slow so that when a car comes, he can give him that stare. No, that's not true. The chaviest thing I do is if somebody says I'll oh, do something to you, then I'll be defensive. Back to the pizza. Well, pizza down and on to the next thing. So this is basically a massive treat day, we said. And uh, now we're going to get some Percy Pigs. Veggie Percy Pigs, pigs your favourite? Yes. Explain why. Oh, they're just that. They're just our favourites. Yeah, yeah. Alright, there's two options here. Veggie pigs, Percy pigs. Percy pigs are a no no. Why are veggie pigs better? They're gelatine free. Because they're gelatine free. So. Basically, no animal bones. So who wants animal bones when you just thought you'd get yourself a treat? The city is absolutely manic today. So, after that big walk in and a bunch of walking around, we decided that we're heading back just to chill on the balcony and make a hot chocolate. 
and uh, hopefully in some way enjoy the sun. You know what it is about Saturdays where there's just a ton of people that decide to come out in the city. Babe, how much how much faster than you do I walk at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so slow at the moment. I feel like every when we walk every maybe 40 seconds I realise that I've walked ahead like right there. and I look back. I'm sorry babe. This has got to be said, it is super nice here. We should just sit down here. Or the balcony, let's try the balcony. But there's no sun on the balcony. True. There's no sun on the balcony with the sun down here. Shall we make it grow and come back down? Let's do it. Yeah. So we decided we're gonna head outside for a picnic of sorts. So we've, look at this funny cup. Sun's shining. It's like it's beautiful out here. Crazy to think uh, these moments will be shared with a little child soon. Crazy. All right, we're aborting the mission because the sun went behind the cloud. So we're back inside for some. So it's been a good afternoon so far and uh, we are now going to have some food and uh, I'm about to go to Tesco for the run. I call it the run because it's a thing I do often. I'm going to go to Tesco and pick up some ingredients and uh, the girl, is uh, she's had a great nap and uh, we're just enjoying the Saturday. So information that you don't really need to know but I figured I'd tell you anyway. Hope you're having a great day. About five hours after this point, um, everything changed. And about 10 o'clock at night, in fact, probably less than five hours then, it was probably a few hours later, 10 o'clock at night, contraction started and uh, I got a little bit of sleep. And then by 1.30 in the morning, uh, I woke up to even more contractions. And from 1.30 in the morning, Sunday morning, until 1.30 on Sunday afternoon, uh, I'll say me and my wife, but my wife was the one that was in labour um, and that whole time was uh, just insane. But at 1.30 on Sunday afternoon, uh, Paloma Amelie Lancaster was born into the world and this last week has been ridiculous. It's really difficult to explain how amazing it's been. Um, but she is just incredible and even more it's worth saying and people say this but really there's no words to describe how strong the girl was in that whole time it's, it's just ridiculous to think how she got through all of that labour, giving birth that whole thing, the whole process which was just crazy but the gift at the end of it with our little girl was just so so worth it um, honestly the best thing that's ever happened ever ever happened and uh, can honestly say 
life has changed dramatically forever and uh, we couldn't love her anymore couldn't love her any less she's just she's insane can't wait for you to meet her but here's a quick this is a video from when she was like very first born quite fresh and new How cute is she? Can't wait for you to meet her someday. But for now, everything's going fine. The girl's doing well, she's healthy. The baby is ridiculously healthy and super peaceful and is just the best baby you could ever, ever wish for. So uh, we're like crazy over the moon. I haven't slept properly in like 10 days, but it feels amazing, even though we feel tired. <sighs> Here's the fatherhood. Parenthood. Three of us. The Lancaster crew. Thanks for watching.